parents in Florida were outraged that Matt Gates was scheduled to speak at a high school in person around high school children. Yeah, so their outrage is completely understandable. This was the annual Academy Nights at Niceville High School, an event where students would be given resources about how to get into service or military school. And Matt Gates was among the individuals who were there to provide the students with resources. Not really the best person who you'd want to be engaging with students, especially high school girls. Nonetheless, he was there. The event took place. But uh, here's what parents had to say about that before this event took place. As Newsweek explains, Florida GOP Representative Matt Gates, who is being investigated by the Justice Department in connection with the sex trafficking of a 17-year-old girl, has sparked outrage after it emerged he would host a high school event in his state. The allegations against Gates and his slated appearance at Niceville High School prompted Kara Marion, a candidate for the Okaloosa County School Board, to ask, what message are we sending our kids? Marion added that numerous people had contacted her about Gates' scheduled appearance at the school, specifically specifically regarding the federal investigation he is under. In a video uploaded to Facebook on Saturday, Marion said, these are men and women who have gotten a hold of me actually. And so what they've said is they're very displeased with the fact the Okaloosa County School District is agreeing to have Matt Gates, who is under investigation for sex trafficking. She later added, so it's very confusing when you have a congressman who's under investigation for crimes against children to come into our high school and talking to young women and young men, it sends a very mixed message message. Yeah, I'll say. Now, they weren't against Matt Gates speaking to high school students because they have a partisan disagreement with him. They don't like his policies. They don't like that he's a Republican and they're Democrats. They were specifically against him because of the potential danger that he poses to children, specifically high school girls, given that he is currently under investigation for allegedly sex trafficking a minor high school age. So the fact that the school district would invite him to speak at this event is incredibly irresponsible. Now, I'm not sure if they invited him or if he tried to weasel his way in. Either way, he potentially poses a danger to these children. So for them to allow him access to children is completely unacceptable. And if I were a parent, I would be fuming. So, of course, lots of parents spoke up, but it's not just the potential danger that he poses. They also don't want him around young girls because of the message that it sends after he just recently was condemning, you know, young girls for their looks if they support abortion and whatnot. So let's get to that portion. Marion added that Gates' previous comments about women, most notably when he made remarks later called misogynist about abortion rights activists to an audience at the Turning Point USA Student Action Summit in Tampa, Florida last month, had raised a further concerns for her. The school board candidate added, I'll tell you right now, if my daughter was looking to go to a service academy, I would not want to be having her work with Matt Gates. Just from literally the comments he made about women who men wouldn't even want to sleep with them so they wouldn't even get pregnant to even consider having an abortion because he said they look like a thumb, she added. She continued, but to put kids in a position where they are going to have to ask this person for a favor, if you will, hey, can you pick me? What message are we sending our kids? Yeah. And look, to be completely honest... I would have a problem with Marjorie Taylor Greene speaking to high school students. This is a vile individual. She lies. She's deceitful. She incites harassment against marginalized people. But that alone, you know, if that doesn't make you think twice about inviting someone like this, this divisive, to a high school event, the fact that Matt Gage, you have that added issue of him being under investigation for alleged sex trafficking of a minor, it just makes matters so much worse, but the plot actually thickens because a viral post on the subreddit 2X chromosomes uh, details how one person actually sent a letter to the superintendent of this particular school, and when he got back to her, well, he challenged her on her objections about having Matt Gates, and she later found out in an update that there was this massive conflict of interest because Matt Gates revealed that he's actually friends with the superintendent that she talked to, who, by the way, was defending his appearance here. So what exactly is going on here? Was he invited because he's in cahoots with people in this particular school district? Why exactly was he granted access to high school children? That's a question that we should all be asking. This conflict of interest 
should not exist, right? And even if there is that conflict of interest, if you know someone who's under investigation for allegedly sex trafficking a minor, perhaps you might reconsider him as a guest because of the optics at a minimum. But no, this superintendent challenged this individual with actual concerns, with, with reasonable concerns. Is that not completely insane? I mean, Jesus Christ. Now, there thankfully was a lot of pushback at the event because the Facebook group Women Against Matt Gates, which has now more than 10,000 followers, announced that it was going to hold a press conference outside of the event, which they did, and they wanted to address the safety of students and also demand that Congress suspend any events that Matt Gates will have going forward with minors, given the potential danger that he poses to them. But regardless of the protest, regardless of the objections raised by parents, he spoke anyway. I mean, isn't Florida the state that's all about parental authority, parental autonomy? Well, apparently not, because when it comes to potentially endangering children, they're not going to take those concerns seriously. It's just, it's ridiculous. Now, look, to be very clear, we don't know if Matt Gates does pose a danger to children, but there's that open question. There's concerns, rightfully so, while he's currently under investigation. If it is the case that the Justice, Justice Department concludes their investigation and they determine that he's not culpable here, then fine. But currently, when we don't have that information, when we're working with incomplete details here, when we know that one of his buddies who he was in contact with was convicted... I'm sorry, this is just completely unacceptable. So, the parents have a right to protest, the parents have a right to raise objections, and anyone involved with confirming his appearance here should be ashamed of themselves, because this is completely unacceptable, completely disgusting, and Matt Gates should be nowhere near high school children until we can confirm that he doesn't pose a danger to them. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.